Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel after what possibly feels like the longest amount of time off. Um, I think the last vlog I did was back in February now, um, which was the skiing vlog. Um, there is, I, it's really annoying because there is really a really big reason behind all of this time off which I've been taking away from blogging and vlogging and even my Instagram as well. I've had to sort of put my hobbies and my enjoyments on very much of a back seat recently um, because I have a bigger and better project going on which please I will will reveal soon but please bear with me. Um, it's taken nearly well definitely over half a year we're getting on for a year now of planning and and I it's really hard to try and explain without telling you too much but I promise it will be worth it so bear with it watch this space and I will be announcing my secret very very soon but with that being said I miss vlogging so so much so I thought I would jump on here and really just get back into the swing of things because I really have missed it and as you will all know um, I well you may not know. If you are a follower of mine for a while, you will know that I do my yearly bank holiday trip to London, which has been and gone now. Um, I did try to vlog while I was there, but I found it so hard and it was the first time off I'd had in so long. And honestly, I just couldn't be bothered, which sounds awful because I vlogging I enjoy so much, but I literally got down all ambition, I'd been vlogging in the morning, all ambition to carry on vlogging, really, really wanted to. It got to probably about lunchtime and then into the evening and I thought, nah, this just, this is not happening. So I, I cut my losses and, and called it quits with it. So it was a bit of a shame because it would have been such a good vlog for you guys to have seen. While I was down in London, obviously, there was a lot of shopping involved. There was um, a lot of gin. There was also another phenomenal restaurant, which I went to. Um, as you will have all known from last year's vlog, um, we went to dinner by Heston Blumenthal, which I, well, it was, it was just so good. I don't know what the love was, that's how good the food was. It was an amazing restaurant. So every year we go down, we try and do, a culinary experience is what we'll call it. Um, I am a food lover, always have been, probably always will be. We went to the Scots in Mayfair for dinner, which um, I hadn't actually heard of. And when, when I was told that that was the booking, I looked it on Google and the heading said seafood, shellfish and oysters. And I was just like, no, thank you. I am not... I don't know what it is, I, I like fish, um, fillets of fish, whole fish, all of that, shellfish, oysters, I cannot even bring myself to try, it's just not at my street, so when I looked initially at it, I was like, oh god, this is just, is not going to be for me, but then I looked at the rest of the menu, and there really is something for everyone, vegetarians included, so there was meat selections, vegetarian options, which I actually had one of the vegetarian starters of um, burrata, tomato, and a pesto, and that was delicious, we also had a dressed crab starter, um, and then I did go for steak in the end for my main, stick to what you know, but um, the food was just amazing, the restaurant itself was beautiful, beautiful. They had actually collaborated with Victoria Beckham and she had designed the entire front of the restaurant. Um, it was all, it was very monochrome, it was all sort of blacks and whites and really classic. It, do you know what, it made me think of Paris, it made me think of the sort of on the street restaurants where all the beautifully dressed tables are and the fronts of the restaurants are all open um, and it was really really gorgeous. We had um, the ribbed steak, so it was a huge piece of meat which came with triple cooked chips, always my go-to, I will never choose any other potato. And then we also ordered some sides, so we got um, like a cheese baked aubergine, and um, some chilli and garlic broccoli, those types of things. But food, gin and everything else aside, shopping was my main aim when I was in London and I thought to get myself back into the swing of vlogging I would do a quick haul for you. Um, 
There are a few high streets um, and actually a few high-end items in this haul. Um, so I just thought it'd be really nice to show you because the things which I have bought are my statement, staple, everyday pieces for summer. I've got them all here. Um, so they really are something which you can have in your wardrobe and I'm hoping that these will actually go from this season probably into next season, well not next season, but the summer after as well. So. They are things which I can I can keep, um, which is a big thing for me when I'm renewing my summer wardrobe because this summer came around and I was looking at my wardrobe and I was like, I really don't have anything that's very current. My fashion had sort of diluted and obviously I've been very, very preoccupied at the moment. So my fashion, again, like everything else, has taken a back seat. So I really wanted to treat myself and give my summer wardrobe a full makeover. But I'm looking at the timer now and I've been speaking for way too long. So I am just gonna get straight into the haul and show you what I picked up when I was in London. But there is also one online purchase as well, just because I wanted to buy them in London. They didn't have the ones which I wanted, they had other styles, but my heart was set, so I did have to order one thing online. But without any other delay, let's get into my haul. My first pieces are my summer denim. I have had my summer denim for years now, and I just thought, do you know what? It would be really nice to pick up some new pieces, have a fresh style, some fresh denim, um, and yeah. So. I, with that being said, went into Levi just because Levi is denim, which all my jeans are, near enough, wears really, really well, I know is comfortable and I know fits me. So I picked up a pair of their more washed and sort of frayed denim shorts. Um, these are just so easy. There's not really much to say about them. They are plain simple to the point and I will wear so much through summer both here and abroad so you can't go far wrong with with denim shorts so so yeah with that being said I picked these up I'm very happy with them I love the back I love big pockets on denim shorts I like denim shorts to sort of be the top proportion of jeans if that makes sense I don't like everything to be shrunk and I definitely don't like them riding up my bottom um so I made sure that they drop nice and low um and are just really easy so that was my first purchase from Levi. My second purchase was my second piece of denim and I wanted this for a really long time. I didn't know where I was gonna buy it from but I knew I wanted one of these. Um, or I haven't had one probably since I was a little girl which is quite a strange thing. It's sort of like dungarees I think. Everyone wore dungarees when they were little and only certain people can pull them off as you get older. I definitely can't. But a denim skirt was something which I haven't had in in years and I don't really know why because I love skirts I prefer sometimes to wear a skirt to either jeans or shorts or whatever so I thought you know what if I buy a really nice quality good wearing denim skirt that can just go in my wardrobe and I can pull it out with either a t-shirt or whatever it will look really really nice so I went for this one again a bit of a distressed look just to dress it down a bit um, for this type of item I don't like block denim I think it can sometimes be a little bit too full and a bit too boxy definitely on me at any rate so I wanted something a little bit more um, casual again this will be perfect for home and abroad um, I will wear this well straight away this is why I'm doing this vlog so I can start wearing things but with the denim purchased and sorted um, I was on a mission to find some tops which I, I actually did I have got a couple but I didn't find anything in bulk I, I didn't manage to buy um, buy many at all so obviously me being me I went for another pair of shorts because that was the logical thing to do uh, let me get them this um, purchase was with a brand that I have loved for a really really long time but I have never actually um, bought anything from them and last summer when I went down for the Maybank holiday again I saw these shorts and they were in a baby blue and I loved them and I was umming and ahhing I was like do you know what we'll come back later 
Leighton never arrived, I didn't get the shorts and just regretted it. So I went back this year and they didn't have the baby blue but they did have them in white and the brand is Club Monaco and I absolutely adore these. Like I said, I did love them in the baby blue but the white is just as perfect and I will probably get more wear out of the whites. Um, they are perfectly tailored. The back is beautiful, two dainty little button pockets um, and yeah, I was just super, super happy that they bought them back this season because I was so upset that I didn't get them. I'm such an indecisive shopper, so um, it was just luck on my side that this had to come back in. But yeah, nipped into Harvey Nichols, picked these up. But if you are down in London and not in Knightsbridge for Harvey Nichols, they have a beautiful store um, over in Covent Garden. Um, and yeah, they have everything there that's the same. If if not a little bit more in Covent Garden because they also have a male collection in Covent Garden which they don't stock in Harvey Nichols so definitely definitely a brand to have on your radar. Now for me a very rogue purchase. Um, I've wanted a cap for a while and a cap is not something, I'm not really a hat person but when I've been training and stuff, I love the look of a cap. And also, when I'm running outside with my hay fever, my eyes have been horrendous. So I thought a cap would save me. So I managed to find one in nude, which is right up my street because I'm not about colour, you know me. I'm all about my neutrals. I don't know what it is about a cap, but as soon as you put it on, you feel like an absolute badass. But, um, yeah, really happy with this. Got it from New Era, um, which is down on Carnaby Street. Well, I'll, I'll just let you see the back. As you all know, I am a huge, huge Gucci fan. Um, you'll have seen last year I got my first Gucci handbag um, and Gucci for me has just always been a brand that has been high-end luxury yet its items are casual enough to go from day to night which for me is a huge, huge plus because I feel when you're spending high-end money you don't want to be able to wear it on a one-off you know if you're buying something from high street and you're going to wear it for that one-off occasion and then never wear it again you know however much you spend it it shouldn't matter too much but when you are buying things with a bigger price tag i do think you should be able to you know have it on the days when you're just chilling or then take it to events or whatever it is so gucci for me is a brand which is a real real staple if i am ever looking for luxury high-end items so with that being said um i bought this and i <laughs> I had in mind everything that I had bought during the day, so the shorts, the skirt, and I really wanted the ultimate summer accessory, but it will be an all-rounder. So I, do you know what, actually, before I show you it, I went to the actual Gucci store, didn't have it in stock, I went to Harvey Nichols to learn that they didn't actually stock Gucci, I then went to... Where did I go? Harrods. Um, and they had it in stock. So I was very, very lucky that the last place I went to in Knightsbridge had this in stock. Um, because I honestly thought I wasn't going to uh, going to be getting it. But this is the belt. I, um, like I said, have wanted this for so, so long. Um, and tan is my ultimate colour when it comes to a belt. I have worn and worn my Dior belt to death. I mean, it's ready to go in the bin. Not that I can justify throwing um, something like that in the bin, but I have worn it that much that it's just, it's it's beyond now. So to pick this up was such a special buy for me because it was a real little treat um, and I don't often do it. So yeah, I was really, really happy. I, I was sort of in Harrods and, you know, I was like, do I, don't I? And I did consider the black one. And just because the leather is very different, I don't know if you can see, but this leather is actually, um, let's see if it'll focus. This leather is quite distressed sort of down the side. So it is quite casual in terms of um, its style, which I wasn't too sure about, you know, I spoke to the woman and I was like, well, because it's already distressed, is it going to wear badly? You know, will it, um, will it pull, will it scratch, will it just start to look really messy? And then I thought about it and I was like, well, actually, that's how my Dior one was worn and I loved that sort of 
rough and ready look of the belt um, whereas the black one is a more tailored leather it's um, it's beautiful and definitely on my wish list and watch this space it may occur but if I was to get one it was going to be this one because I'm going to wear it on a day-to-day -day basis it is going to be my ultimate accessory whether I'm wearing jeans and a t-shirt to go to the supermarket or I am wearing you know tailored trousers with um with a nice top so yeah I was super happy with this and the thing that I love is it's going to look really really statement sort of around the denim um, and yeah I, I was made up this this for me was a really special purchase and uh, and a bit of a, a bit of a treat so I am really really happy and I would suggest like I have before in my vlogs whenever buying high-end items make sure that you want um, what you're going to buy and you're not just buying it off a trend off social media or because you've seen someone else have it and you think that it looks nice with them you know window shop go try it on go home think about it um, research the products as well you know I research till my heart's content because I want to make sure what I'm buying is quality and I have never actually been let down with Gucci so far um, nor has anyone else that I know so I know that when I'm buying Gucci I'm buying quality and I'm buying something which I am gonna love so yeah very very happy now on to my next purchase this is the one which I didn't actually buy when I was in London this is the one which was an online order and um, again I was in Harvey Nichols um, on the hunt because there was not a store in London which stocked these which really actually surprised me quite a bit um, so I was in Harvey Nichols they had them which was great um, but they didn't have the style which I sort of had my heart set on so I did actually end up ordering these shoes from Netta Porter um, these are my castagna wedges I've wanted a pair of castagna wedges probably since last summer but I wanted them sort of at the back end of summer and couldn't quite justify buying summer shoes at the back end of August, early September. So I held off and I, again, made sure that I wanted them this season. The ones which were in Harvey Nichols were actually beautiful and they were more of a lace mesh, if that makes sense, rather than the solid fabric. But I wanted the solid fabric. Um, so I left the purchase in Harvey Nichols, didn't bother with it, um, and then picked these ones up and got them ordered straight to my house. The only thing was the delivery guy didn't bother to bring the parcel to the front door, so I had to wait an extra day, which was a little bit annoying because I waited in and I was there, I saw the van, and then just because the gates were closed, he couldn't be bothered to come in, so that was a little bit annoying. Um, but in the end, I got my shoes, and that is all that matters. So these are the castagna wedges, which I went for. I went for the grey canvas, um, and they are the higher wedge as well. I am a wedge wearer. A wedge wearer? Yeah, I'm a wedge wearer. So <laughs> these for me were just something which will be able to go with my summer denim, my jeans, and actually now that I've got them and realise how thick this canvas actually is, they will go into September on the drier days um, and into autumn a little bit. Not too far though because they are still very, very much a summer shoe. As you can see, the style of them is everything summery, but I am really, really happy with these. Um, I'm yet to wear them out. They seem like a snug fit. Obviously the lacing here wraps around the ankle and it does mean that there is a little bit of ankle lift when you do wear them. So in this area here, your ankle does come up a bit, but nothing too much. So I am thinking, and the sole, I mean, it's like memory foam. It seems extraordinarily comfortable. So yeah, I'm looking forward to taking these new ones for a spin. So, uh, so all around, a very, very successful shopping trip. In terms of everything which I bought in London, those were my sort of most major purchases. Like I mentioned, I got a couple of tops and some little extra bits and bobs, um, but these were things which I had my heart set on. I knew what I really wanted in my wardrobe for this coming summer, and uh, yeah. I am very, very happy with them. Do you know what? It's one of those shopping trips where you come away and you're quite proud. You think, do you know what? I have smashed this shopping trip. I have bought everything which I need for summer. Everything else will just happen. So, um, 
So yeah, I'm really looking forward to putting these all in my wardrobe, wearing them, seeing how they sort of fit with other items and uh, and obviously letting you know how they wear, especially in regards to the shoes because I know shoes can always be a funny one. Um, I'm very funny about buying shoes because my feet are uber sensitive. I get blisters so easily, so buying comfort for me is key. So I will definitely let you know how these wear. But again, I just want to say a really big sorry for how dormant I have been on my channel, my social media and everything um, related to my blog. It has been uh, a very, very, I can't stop smiling when I talk about it. It is such an exciting time for me at the moment and, you know, very consuming and very, very hard and long hour work. But it's going to be so worth it and I really want you all to be a part of it as well so I am so excited for when I am able to reveal it to you all because it has been it's do you know what I'm not going to say anymore by the fact that it's an absolute dream come true I am just going to enjoy sort of dealing with the rest of it under wraps and then finally announcing it to you all later on but for now, I am actually really behind on myself. I wish you could see the rest of this room because it is absolute mess. I'm flying out to Greece today, so I haven't actually packed my suitcase yet because I was waiting to do this haul um, to get everything into my suitcase. So I am very behind on myself and I need to crack on um, this morning to make sure that I don't miss my flight. I really do hope that you have enjoyed this vlog. You know, it's been so nice to just sit here back in front of the camera talking to you all. Um, and going over, you know, some things that I have brought back into my wardrobe to revive my sort of summer fashion. So yeah, I've really enjoyed this. So thank you for, for coming along and enjoying it with me. Um, I promise, I promise I will not leave it so long before my next vlog. I will make sure that another one is out very soon. May or may not be with the big announcement. So watch this space. I am going to get on with my packing and probably not fold things and just throw it all into my suitcase and get on and and get out of the house but I will see you all very very soon in my next vlog bye